Okay, so let's practice this exam style question. Another MCQ. A company has started production of a new product and has found that the first batch of five units, so we're dealing with batches here, of production took 100 hours. Okay, so A is 100 for the formula. But since we're dealing with the calculation of the learning rate, I think we'll be using the table here. The next 15 units did produce took a further 200 hours. Okay, so we need to calculate the learning rate. So we'll be dealing with the table. So we have the number of batches. We have the average time per batch. And we have the total time per batch columns, right? Now remember, batches, the pattern would be 1, 2, 4, 8, right? And they've told us that each batch has 5 units. So let's make a column for units as well. 5, 5 into 2, 10, 5 into 4, 20, and 5 into 8, 40. So what do they want? They said the first batch of 5 units took 100 hours to make, right? So this is 100. And they're telling us that the next 15 units took a further 200 hours. So 5 plus 15 more units gives us 20. So to produce 20 units, the first 5 took 100 and the next 15 took a further 200. The total time taken for 20 units was 300, right? So this is what we have so far. So we'll make another column for total time and fill it out based on our base values for the table. So total time for the first unit is A, right? Total time for the second unit or batch is 2AR, for the third one, for 4AR squared, and then 8AR cubed, right? So 4AR squared is equal to 300 by that, which means 4 into 100, because A is 100, R squared is equal to 300, right? Which is 400 R squared is equal to 300. So R squared is equal to 300 over 400, right? Or 0 0.75. And R is equal to the square root of 0 0.75. So you can use your calculator. They want it to the nearest whole percent. If you calculate, you should get something close to around 87%, right? So the answer here would be 87. So again, dealing with batches and units, make a column for units as well. Then see what time you can figure out and fill out that value, whether it's average time or total time. Fill out the base values in your base table that we covered earlier. Compare the corresponding value in the base table to the time given and use that to calculate R.